everyone, it's Autumn. Today I want to talk about a company called Stylevana. They reached out to me not long after I did another video about Asian skincare, so I'm guessing they saw that video and they wanted to send me some products. It was the company I purchased from before. Yes Style. So I previously did a video about Yes Style, talking about some of the products I got from them, and I was really excited about everything that I got. So then when Stylevana reached out to me and asked if they could send me some things, I said 100% yes. They asked a little bit about me, like my skin type, uh, preferences, all that sort of stuff, and I told them like everything from makeup preferences to my skin type and all that stuff, and they sent me an email back and it looked like they were only going to send me skincare. So when I saw that they were only sending me skincare, I decided to go ahead and make an order myself. So right now I only have the order on hand that they sent to me and hopefully before I have to post this video, my order comes in and I can just kind of stitch it all together and show you what I got and what they sent. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that when a company sends me something, um, I also like to purchase on my own at least a little bit something so I have kind of like that customer service experience or just like the experience that the average customer would have. So first I'm going to unbox everything um, that, that they sent me and then I'll unbox all the stuff that I bought and then I'll talk a little bit about navigating the website, prices, they have like a little membership club as well so I'll talk all about that towards the end. All right, so this is a little pack they sent me in a box. I haven't opened it yet, so we're gonna open it together and look at it, and I'm gonna have little, I guess, like video stitches put into where you can see me using the product. I'm not sure how useful it's gonna be for you just to watch me using these products since they are skincare products, um, but maybe I can put a note on the screen giving you like a first impression. Normally for skincare, you have to use it for a while to see results. So unfortunately, I won't be able to like really give you like long-term results from this, but I can kind of tell you, you know, like what it feels like, if I like it, did it break me out, like that sort of thing. All right, so they sent me five products, and I'm wondering if I arrange them here, if it's actually enough for a skincare routine, and I might just go in the bathroom and do that if it is enough. So I got a cleansing oil, a toner, a serum, a mask, and SPF. I think I can apply all of them aside from the, the mask as like a skincare routine, so I may try that out. But first let me just show you the products I got. The first thing that they gave me is this Green Full Cleansing Oil. Um, the company is Be Plain, and I love a good cleansing oil. And let me open up this box. Also, last time I ordered a bunch of um, Korean skincare, I discovered that if I use Google Translate, it allows you to kind of take a picture of everything in Korean and it translates it into English on your phone for you as far as like directions and how to use things. This product luckily on the box has directions on how to use it, but on the product itself, it looks, oh, it has it in English on here too. So I wouldn't need that for this. This looks really interesting. It's a cleansing oil and it's not like a biphase. I was thinking it might be a biphase, but I'm excited to try this out. Um, the next product I have here is this bubble toner. And this is from the same company that everybody was raving about this sunscreen, which is the beauty of Joseon, I believe. So I have the sunscreen here and I've been using that. Um, but this is the bubble toner and let's open it up. Oh, interesting. I bet it foams up. It's okay. So it is Prudus Mumi fruit water. I'm probably saying that wrong and glycolic acid AHA. This would probably be really great um, for like any acne breakouts or my daughter, her skin starting to break out a little bit. She's, you know, in those teen years. This would probably be something really great for her um, because the glycolic acid is at 3%. And I think typically the glycolic acid products I have are a little bit higher. So this might be a little bit more gentle on her skin. Um, so I'm excited about that. And by the way, I did tell them that I have um, 
my skin is like more dry in the winter and then as we go into summer it becomes more normal so they chose these products knowing in my you know knowing my skin type so when I try these out, if they feel a little bit drying to me, I'll definitely let you guys know. But if you don't have dry skin, it may not have like the same effect on you. All right, so this next product is their Green Tea Fresh Serum. Same, it's the same company as another sun gel that I got. So it seems like they're using a lot of the same companies that Yes Style uses, a lot of the same products. Um, so that's actually really great because um, I liked everything that I got there. And also the prices on their website are pretty good. Um, and again, I'll have the prices and all that good stuff on the screen for you. So this says that it helps to calm irritated skin, which is great. Um, and it contains anti-sebum P. It helps to regulate sebum production. So this also might be really great for me in the summer because sometimes if I'm out a long time, I do tend to get a little bit oily, especially if I have on like sunscreen or makeup or anything like that. So. The packaging on this is beautiful as well. It's a really sturdy bottle. All right, so the next product they gave me, I'm, I always get super excited for SPFs. So I always look for um, the next greatest SPF that's not gonna break me out because I break out really easily from SPFs, oddly enough. Um, but finding one that's not gonna break me out, not gonna leave like a huge white cast on my face, um, and is gonna protect my skin, obviously. Um, if they go under makeup without pilling up, that is also a huge bonus. So this is the Frutia derived from fruit, 50 plus SPF PA++++ moisturizing ultra UV shield sun essence. So them saying that it's a sun essence would lead me to believe that this is a really thin formula. open this one up the other ones I really couldn't like do a whole lot I am gonna like cut in and do a little skincare routine though so this does appear to have kind of a white cast but it goes away really quickly and this smells nice it says derived from fruit which makes sense because this has a really light fruity smell but it's not something that um, I think it would overwhelm you throughout the day a lot of the times um, if you're wearing scented uh, like cosmetics or scented skincare the smell can really be overwhelming and it it's not it's like hardly there okay and then the last thing I got I found to be really intriguing because of how it is packaged and the pun so this is let it glow long lasting glow it's their angel ring effect skin glowing intense hydration mild hydro gel face mask, I guess. And this is from Faith and Face. And does this look familiar to anybody? This to me looks exactly like Soap and Glory packaging with the black and white sort of bombshell photo or like old timey sort of photo with the pink packaging. And then also the pun. But now I'm gonna jump to a quick cut where I'm talking about how they actually felt on my skin and how they performed. All right, so let's talk about the skincare. I took down some notes and I tried everything except for the mask, which I will try this evening. It will be in the video for you, so I don't even know why I'm telling you. But during this little portion of the video, I'm just talking about the regular skincare items. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the cleansing oil. So you're gonna see on the screen as I'm like using it and all that stuff and I'm talking about it. Um, but this is actually really nice. I don't feel like it dries my skin out at all. So you pump a little bit out on your hands, it becomes oily, you rub it all over. And um, then once you've kind of worked your makeup loose, you start to add in some warm water and then it becomes milky and then you rinse it off and pat your face dry. My face did not feel dry after using this, which is amazing. Um, I will say though, that I did have to go in twice to be able to get my eye makeup off. So maybe I should go in with an eye makeup remover first or a micellar water, something like that to remove makeup first and then go in with um, this to actually wash the face. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you now that these four items have actually become my morning skincare routine. So really, I don't even have to worry about makeup, obviously, in the morning. So I just wash my face with this in the morning and go in with the other items. 
but I really did enjoy this. Um, the second item here is this toner. Um, what I really liked about this is the fact that since it does come out as a big puff um, when you push this down, um, it doesn't soak right into your cotton pad, right? So if you want to use a cotton pad, it kind of sits on top of the cotton pad and you move it on your face and then you can use kind of the cotton pad to move it around. What I found the last couple of days using this though is I don't even like to use a cotton pad. So I just pump this out onto my hands and then I just kind of massage it over and then pat it into my skin and that seems to work out really great. And then also none of the products getting wasted in the cotton pad. I feel like not very much, I've said cotton pad like a thousand times. I feel like not very much product gets wasted in the cotton pad though anyway because it does kind of come out in a foam. So if you're somebody who enjoys using a cotton pad but you get super annoyed at the fact that half of your toner is just sitting inside of the pad, um, this might be a really good product for you. And I really enjoyed everything about it. This does have glycolic acid in it. So if you're using it during the day like I am, just make sure you're putting on some sunscreen to protect your skin. Um, but I really liked it. So then the next item I have here is this green tea fresh serum. It says 77% of Jeju green tea extract um, helps regulate excess sebum production while providing deep hydration to the skin. So this actually feels really good on the skin. And I'll just kind of, like you'll see in the thing, but it's kind of like an orange sort of color. Um, none of these products, by the way, have a scent except for the sunscreen, which I'll get into that here in a second. Um, but I appreciate that these are not overly scented. A lot of our products here in the US like have a ton of scent and it can be a bit much, especially if you're doing a skincare routine and everything has a different scent. Um, if you are using all from one company, Typically they will have like their one signature scent in it and you kind of have an experience um, using it. So I'm not completely against scent in products, but when you have so many products that are different scents, it can be overwhelming. So anyway, I really enjoyed this. I found it to be really moisturizing. Um, and then the last thing I put on my skin is this Frudia derived from fruit, like ultra UV shield sun essence, I guess from Wellcoast made in Korea. So after I used all four items and had this on my skin, I literally was like taking pictures of my skin and sending it to people because I thought my skin looked so good. I will say that this, when you first start to apply it, does have a white cast, but it goes away very quickly. Um, I also want to point out that I looked online to see how much this is and it's around $5. Like that is super inexpensive for a sunscreen. Um, but also there's not a ton of sunscreen in here. I could probably go through this in about a month, but compared to how much sunscreens cost here in the US that aren't even that great, and they either leave a white cast or feel greasy on the skin, um, I still consider this to be a really big step up. This does have a slight scent um, but it's like a slight sort of fruity scent, which makes sense because this is like derived from fruit ingredients. So I would say overall, the products here that I've tried that they have sent to me have been great. These four products are actually now part of my morning skincare routine. Actually, these are all I have been using. I have them on my face again today under my makeup and they all sit really well under my makeup. Um, I also forgot to mention that this sunscreen, another interesting thing about it, it feels like a moisturizer. And if you were in a humid environment, I don't know if you've ever like tried to apply lotion or moisturizer when it's really humid outside and you kind of like feel like that sweat developing like <laughs> on your upper lip. Um, or like you feel like you just can't stop sweating if you like have it all over your body. Um, this kind of gives me the same vibes. It wears really well under makeup. It looks beautiful now, but it's raining outside today. It's starting to warm up and it's just really humid outside. And pretty much as soon as I put this on, I felt like I had a sweat mustache. That doesn't really deter me because it looks beautiful on the skin. Um, but I do kind of want to let you know if you were somebody 
um, who like that aspect of moisturizers kind of bothers you. <laughs> I know that's very specific and I've never even heard anybody else talk about that, but there are certain moisturizers that, you know, kind of feel that way or do that. Um, but again, like, look how good my skin looks. Which I was definitely taking photos the other day of my skin without makeup and then once I got the makeup on, like my face just looks super fresh so I'm like super impressed. So anyway, with all this being said, we're now gonna jump into the area where I'm trying out the mask and I'm sure that I'm gonna make it as awkward as possible. <laughs> so let's get into it. All right, so I have to stop looking at myself in the phone because I look ridiculous. But I did some traveling over the weekend and I took this mask with me because I figured I would obviously like use the mask while traveling. Um, <laughs> maybe I should like lay back more. So anyway, I took the mask with me and didn't use it. I need to use it today so I can get this video up. <laughs> and today is also like tax day and my birthday is tomorrow and my driver's license expires. So I have to get, I have to get a new driver's license. So typically when you wear a mask, um, you're not talking. I have a hair in my mouth. This is like gone off the rails. Okay. So, anywho, I'm going to lay here with this mask on, and then hopefully my makeup looks good after for my driver's license photo. So, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, because I haven't taken the mask off, just from the experience of the mask, it comes in two parts, and I like that, because I think um, it would be a little bit harder um, to use a mask that's like made for everybody. Like this is a little bit more adjustable since it comes in two parts. But what I will say is my eyes are a little bit more deeper set, which they can't really do anything about that. It's a sheet mask, but it's not really reaching in there, which I don't think it's supposed to. Oh my gosh, I need to lay back. It's getting in my mouth. So <laughs> it's super, um, moisturizing but it slides a lot I had a really hard time um I had a really hard time actually keeping my hands on it and getting it out of the package because it has so much serum on it which is a good thing oh my gosh there we go I just lay back okay that's better good lord all right so I'm gonna take this thing off in a few minutes and I will check back in my beauty room to talk about it. I'll obviously take some photos of my skin when the mask first comes off, but I think I'm gonna do my makeup first. So I'll be right back. Okay, let's take this off. I probably laid in there a little bit too long. Okay. I'm just gonna pat it in. Oh, I need to fix that. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys here in a second with makeup on in my beauty room. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay. All right, so I've tried out the mask. I can tell you makeup applied just fine over it. I also used the sunscreen that I talked about earlier here in the video. Um, I don't have it right here because it's in my bathroom, but I do want to also mention that the sunscreen when you initially put it on does kind of have a white cast, but it goes away super quickly. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier in the video when I was reviewing all of the products. So anyway, I like the mask. I like that it comes in two different pieces so you can fit it on your face. I will say though, with almost any of like these super moisturizing sheet masks, you can't really get up around your house and do a whole lot because again, they're kind of uh, slimy and slippery. <laughs> so you should probably lay back and just like watch a video or watch some TV or something. Um, like you will have seen that I was like trying to talk and it was like getting down in my mouth and everything. Um, but also, I, again, I wanna point out like, you can't tell me this doesn't look like a soap and glory product. Um, 
but I enjoyed it and I think it was really nice. So I do want to talk about my overall experience. So I always try to do a video when it's a new company where they send me stuff, which is fine, but also I try to do a video where I order stuff myself, which I did order stuff, but it's still in customs in New York. Um, it's just kind of like sitting there. <laughs> so I should get it any day now and I will do a follow-up video on the stuff I ordered, but I ordered my stuff on um, the 30th of March and it said that it takes about 21 days to get to me. So I'm sure I'm gonna get it within the next couple of days. And when I do, I will post about it. Um, and the most of the stuff that I ordered is more like makeup sorts of things because they only sent me skincare. Um, so I did wanna point that out. Okay, so also they did give me a discount code to give to you guys. And it, I will have it here across the screen. Um, but it's kind of like their discount format then plus, um, yeah, yeah, it's A-A-Y-T for Average Autumn YouTube. Yeah, yeah, so it's I-N-F-10 A-A-Y-T um, will be your discount code for 10% off. But I will say they have a rewards program through their company. And when I placed my order, they had a better deal than the 10% off. So I would go ahead and sign up for the rewards program, which you can you just use your Facebook to sign up for it. And um, I got a really good deal, like a really good percentage off on my stuff. So I'm not gonna be at all offended if you don't use my uh, code, if you just wanna go ahead and use whatever they have through the rewards program. I'll leave like any links to products and my code down, but then also just look at the banner at the top of their website. They have different deals going on all the time. And then I kind of did like a cost comparison between Stylevana and Yes Style because I found that they sell a lot of similar products. Stylevana is a little bit cheaper. Um, I would do your re research though, looking up the products before because I found that there's not as many swatches available on the Stylevana website. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. Um, let me see right now, I'm just curious. I'm gonna go onto their website and see what kinds of deals they have going on. Yeah, so right now they have a deal going on to where you can get um, up to 50% off plus use their code for double points and extra 15% off of anything over 129, 13 over anything over 60, and 10 over anything 49. I'll kind of just show you like right there. So they do have different deals going on all the time. Um, yeah, right now they have a secret member sale going on. They have tons of different sales. So go ahead and like check those out. I'm not gonna be at all offended if you don't use my promo code if you find a better deal. So I hope that you guys found this video useful. Again, everything will be left below for you guys to check out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yesterday there was some